Hey, I'm Andy, and we're back in Grid Autosport, and we're in the touring season, and we're just gonna go and start with qualifying. There's only two races, so I might do them both in this video. I might not. Let's see how fast qualifying is. And I also got a new controller, so I can't really blame the controller this time. Now I have an official 360 controller, and everything should be good. I don't know this track, so I'm gonna take it slow, or I can mess up on the first turn. So yeah, this is the first race of the touring season. This is a new discipline that I'm doing. Everything is new. New discipline, new control, new video. <laughs> Alright, and I still have the HUD off just because I don't. I just want to keep that immersion going. And I think this is the Istanbul Intermediate Circuit. So, it really depends on how long each lap will be, how long the practice will be, how long the race will be, and so on. But there's only two races, so I think I can fit both in the video, in this one video. Yep, let's not hit the barricade, or do that. So yeah, the touring car has a similar feel to the street car, but of course this is more faster. So this is this is more open than the city. Uh, I mean, of course, the city's more cramped, but more detailed. This is more official and not as street. All right. Oh no 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 no! Oh man, I didn't brake fast enough, or I didn't brake soon enough. Oh, oh, we screwed that turn up. I need to make note of that for the next lap. So there's the three lap qualifying, and I usually just feel it out, see how the cars in front of me slow down and take the corners, and I adjust then, but with qualifying, you're on your own, so you have to get used to it, and I don't have racing lines, because I kinda don't wanna do that in this game. I might do it in future games, if like, Dirt 4 will ever uh, have them, but until then, just leave them. Oh, I'll probably just dated this video to have I, but oh well. Alright, I think we're doing better than the first lap so far, but I can't tell because there's no HUD. I just gotta take each turn carefully, but fast as the same at the same time. And I miss all the people watching. There's like hardly any. Oh oh no, I I, I was distracted. Uh, this this lap is worse than the previous one. You were slow through sector two compared to the lap leader. Really? <laughs> so hopefully the actual race will be more better uh, than my qualifying because I can actually have a frame of reference of when to break and all that. I know there's uh, markers. But even then, like, there's uh, distance markers to the right, right there, but even then, it's kind of hard to judge without a HUD. <laughs> but I like to keep it off. Are those people in the stands, or just... I can't tell. Well, at least I didn't go way past in that turn. I can't tell if those are real people or not. Last lap, let's push through the pack. All right, last lap. There's no, there's no pack to push if if it's just qualifying. It's just me trying to do my best on an open track. And also, I forgot to add new sponsor for this race, but uh, yeah, I have to keep mentioning that that they're not actual sponsors for the video. It's just for the game. You have to pick a sponsor for the set of races you're gonna do, and this time I chose Razor. So hopefully I do well. Um, the qualifying laps I'm making should not be indicative of how I will do in the actual races. I don't think I'll get pole position, but I'll be surprised if I do. Yeah, this is touring. I don't know if it's if it has like I wish there was a, a Le Mans type of settings with three different types of cars, like the prototypes, the GTs, and all that other stuff. 
Well, I took that corner. That was the best one I've taken <laughs> out of all the three. I think this is my best lap out of all the three because I didn't even crash or go outside the, the track. Alright, we got seven. I don't know how many cars there are total. Uh, let's just go to the race. Uh, Alright, so there are 16. Okay. Race one or two. It looks like I'm going to be splitting this into two videos because of the practice, I think, because of the length. But uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Three laps. Race one or two. And we're right in the middle. You're in position seven, and your teammate is 13th on the grid. All right. So I want to be at least sixth. Okay, I'll try and do that, but no guarantees. Oh, you ran into me. <laughs> I probably should have uh, edited my car a little bit, but I'm going. I'm going straight down the middle every time. Hopefully there's, I know there's some corners where I can pass them, but that was probably one of them. <laughs> and my, if my sp suspension's gonna be shot after this race, I'm, I won't be surprised. There's a lot of contact compared to like the open wheeled series, so. Are these all hatchback cars? I I can't really tell. At least mine seems to be like a hatchback, but I don't know if they're all different or not uh, in terms of model. Everything seems calm, collected, until we had to get to a braking area where I just ran into that monster car. <laughs> so we are currently in fifth. We have two more laps to go, I believe. So, if we get two positions every lap, that's pretty good. Two laps to go. There's a big pack behind me. Oh, I took that turn horribly. And that car ran into me. Two laps to go, and the pack is just leaving me in the dust. Hopefully I can get back to the corners. Oh, no. I'm closing. It seems, it seems to be... But then they go... Oh, I, cut that, I definitely cut that corner. <laughs> well, whoops. There goes my catch-up. At least uh, my my uh, coach or something tells me that I need to be in sixth or better. So at least I'm doing that. <laughs> All right. Just need to try and catch up. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna get pole position, but I'm gonna try and get to third at least by the end of the race. I don't know if I will though. So we took that turn beautifully, and we are caught up to four. Or now we're we're in the uh, we can battle four four. Or never mind, they they can just pull out ahead. Man. They're racing very cleanly, and they're trying not to overtake for some reason. Someone spun out, and I didn't run into them. That that's a miracle. Usually, when someone spins out in this game, my car is attracted to them, like it's a magnet or something. But luckily, I did not crash into that car, so we are now currently in fourth. That's good. It's not a podium position, but it's something, right? So I think I can catch up to get podium, but 
Oh, no. Not, not if I do it like that. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know if I'm gonna get third or not. They're pretty far ahead. if I break better, but... No, that didn't... That just made it worse. Yeah, I'm not... I am not getting the pull... But, or I'm not getting third... Oh, yeah. Ex even with the penalty, I'm not getting third position. But I, I am solidly in fourth, so that's, that's pretty good. This is nice. You finished ahead of your event rival. Yeah, I am. He finished 11th. Wow. Way to go, Diego Gomez. Uh, driver standings, I am in 4th, of course. And then, team standings, we are in 4th. Alright, so I think I'm going to leave this next race for the next video, but this was the first race I've done in touring for Grid Autosports with the the brand new official 360 controller so hopefully i i can only get better from here right <laughs> uh so anyways un uh, that was great autosport and the touring so it was, it's pretty fun like it's it feels different that's that's all i can say more or less after that one race it feels different from the open wheel it feels different from the street race but I think it uses the same tracks as the open wheel, so I don't know. So yeah, that was good Autosport. Until next time, thank you for watching and have a nice day.